Hello friends and welcome. You are watching my Sim Airport Let's Play. My name is Sean and thank you for joining me. When we left off it was day number 20 and we have lots and lots of passengers, lots and lots of flights, lots and lots of everything. It's going great. You know somebody in the comments told me that I needed to put a, a carpet in this hallway and I did put flooring in this hallway. It's weird flooring. I even remember commenting on how weird that flooring is. So uh, I'm not sure Maybe you were watching an older video. No, because I only just made this hallway. Hmm. I don't know what you were talking about, friend. But uh, I've got uh, I've got floors in, in all my area that needs to be floored. So sorry for... Maybe maybe you don't like the flooring that I have? Well, it's weird and erratic. Uh, maybe maybe you wanted me to put get rid of this carpeting and put tile in there. I kind of like the carpeting. I like having weird, patchy, inconsistent... Just, just uh, sloppy, throwing it all together. Uh, you know, something that somebody did mention that was kind of interesting, I think, was to fiddle around with these prices, and I do like that idea. So if I drop this down to 700, so we're at 60.35%, and I raise this up to 60. <laughs> Look at that. Our airline interest actually increased. Wow. So I could probably... I have to wait 12 hours. All right, well, I should have done more. Okay, so they're much more sensitive to uh, runway usage than um, passenger prices. So that's good to know. Uh, thank you to uh, the commentator who left that tip in the comments. That's a really good comment. And, I mean, even just raising it up $10 per passenger is going to be huge. Uh, it's going to make me a lot more money. Uh, apparently, those guys missed their flight, which is... Oh, I think it's. I think these guys are missing their flights because I don't have this runway. I th think that's what, because failed reserve runway. And I know. I guess the other ones just missed their flight because they were too slow. Um, what's up with this plane? Let's see if it fixes itself. There we go. Thank you, plane. It's probably not going to be good. And these guys are late, so they missed their flight. But there's the next. I need to get another runway set up. There's no two ways about it. Uh, build taxiway, and we're just going to build that there. And we're going to build this down like that. This is going to take pretty much all of our money to do all this. But that's okay. It's going to be a real benefit once we get it done. Search. Well, I don't need to search because it's under a different... Uh, under a different window, and we just rotate that like that, put it there, and then we let the game run at top speed for a while as they build that runway. And boy, our traffic is really backing up, and we don't have, uh, I don't have any trucks jammed up in here to blame for it either. I wonder what's going on with all that traffic. Luckily, it's nighttime. Traffic is pretty much going to have to clear out because of the nighttime thing, and the truck still didn't uh, didn't back up the traffic again, so it wasn't that. We've we've made almost a hundred thousand dollars since I started building that runway, and we haven't even come close to finishing all the construction that I set up. <laughs> We're making a lot of money. I've got... Whoa! Hey, there's my desktop. Look at the picture I took of the Milky Way a, a while back. It's not, not that great of a picture. Um, I was going to start singing an old Monty Python song. Monty Python song. I've got 90,000 pounds in my pajamas. I've got 40,000 French francs in my fridge. I've got lots of lovely lira and the Deutsche Mark's getting dearer. And my dollar bills are by the Brooklyn Bridge. There's nothing quite so wonderful as money. Okay, that's enough stop because I wasn't really singing that was like some half-assed rapping I guess <laughs> not really rapping either that would be uh, interesting to hear like uh, uh, a legitimate hip-hop version of Monty Python's money song it would be wouldn't be inappropriate like gangsters are supposed to be uh, supposed to be into money and stuff right isn't that or I say gangsters like all all hip-hop artists are gangsters but you know what I mean like, uh, that's that's supposed to be part of the hip-hop lifestyle, right? As a fascination with uh, material goods. Um, so, you know, it would be not a bad idea. Uh, 
uh, I'm showing how completely uncool I am. In my last video, I made my continued constant reference to Steely Dan. So in case you need to know how uncool I am, Steely Dan is my favorite band. Um, and uh, I honestly don't really listen to music. I mostly just listen to podcasts. I don't really mention that a lot, but it is true. I love podcasts. Comedy podcasts. I have comedy podcast references in a lot of my um, in a lot of my games. Um, there's a comedy podcast reference in my Fort Ranchos. Uh, uh, that is a reference to my brother, my brother and me. Um, and uh, there was another one that had a Hollywood Handbook reference. Um, and I can't remember what that Hollywood Handbook reference was, but it was in one of these uh, one of these other videos, uh, one of the other series that I was running. Maybe it was the uh, auction not included. I don't know. Who knows? It's not important, anyways. What is important is that we have a new runway going. We're going to be able to get even more flights through. It's going to be awesome. Everything is awesome, especially our airport. Let's speed it up again. It'd be more awesome if these people would go through and use this hallway. Come on, you guys. That's the whole reason that hallway is there. So you don't clutter up my main through fair, thoroughfare. But you're going to clutter it up, so I guess I can. i got to take um, take the good with the bad, right? Just take the good, take the bad, put them together. There you have the facts of life. Um, those are supposed to both be big gates, huh? But am I? I don't think I am anywhere near able to set up another large gate uh, because we just have, like, we just wouldn't be able to do it. But could I set up another small gate? 787s, 300 passengers, so I wouldn't be able to get anybody out of that. Uh, oh, that's the one I was just looking at. 777, 747. So I think those are all. Yeah. Those are all large as well. So, I mean, pretty much everybody that's out here has large... I mean, I could get one 707. That was Star Connect, right? I've got one last one I need to get a CFO for. Uh, so, really, I would need... Well, first off, I would need... Uh, I mean, there's not much I can do to, to make a small gate work up here. I kind of need to get a large gate... And if I put in a large gate, uh, I could then use the small gate for, like, overflow flights. Wow, that plane needs to make up its mind where it's going. Um, or maybe I need to set some alternate routes for uh, for these planes. Maybe I need to set up another runway over here or something. It's not like I don't have the money for it, as a matter of fact. Let's jump this up $20. And we'll drop this one down two hundred dollars. So we're at sixty-two twenty-one. Ha! <laughs> they're <laughs> they're happier now that I've done that. You guys are so dumb. Maybe oh, I bet you that affects the passenger. I bet you that's it. It probably affects the passenger happiness. But you know who cares about our passenger happiness? We certainly don't. We're a, we're a big business. We don't care about our customers. All right. So you know we can set up another runway here for some reason. Doesn't seem like you'd be able to do that. Um, we do need to have taxiway like that. I guess probably like that. I guess. And then I can set another runway up over there. Conceivably. I am not going to be happy with the way that looks because it's going to have all those weird doodly doos in it. But, uh, you know, doodly do, I guess. Doodly do or doodly don't. That was terrible. There is no try. Hey, look at that. Traffic is backed up again. I was supposed to save this so uh, they could, uh, I could send a sample of the save file. There we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Saving. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's uh, break deadlock, please. And that doesn't break the deadlock. So let's break the deadlock with those passenger buses, which does break the deadlock. And now I'm going to be a hero when I send that save file uh, to the Reddit sub forum, or to the subreddit. You're welcome, everybody. You're welcome.
Um, I guess, uh, well, I guess I could upgrade our runway for nighttime usage. Can I flip that? No, that will not allow me to have it going the other way. The planes must land in that direction, apparently. And uh, we're going to throw this nonsense on there. And these are not going to be able to set up the way I normally like to have them set up, but we'll put them on like that anyways. And there we go. We got the ugly doobly-doos there. <laughs> They're doobling it up. I've made that joke too many times, and it's only like two minutes ago that I made that joke the first time, so shame on me for not being more creative. Uh, I feel I feel awful. Speaking of feeling awful, uh, oh wait, what's going on? I do not want to. I do not want to shut that down. No. Hey, wait. What? Okay. Oh, boy, you guys are getting uh, all sorts of. Uh, all sorts of uh, screenshots, or uh, all sorts of back, getting to see my background. All sorts of ways today. Also, all sorts of tongue-tied inability to communicate today. Strange day. Real sharp turn for that plane there. I don't know how they maneuver that well. Also, I can't wait until like t planes are using these runways uh, at the same time. That's going to be interesting. All right. Well, let's let's start expanding our uh, our foundation a little bit to make room for some of this new stuff that we're going to be uh, putting in here. Um, I'm also going to do this, uh, just kind of behind the scenes stuff. That's not the right amount of time that I want to do. Let's reset that and go 14 minutes because that seems more like the right amount of time. All right, um, and we're going to expand this up like a hundred thousand dollars worth. Sounds good. Can we adjust those prices again? We sh sure cannot. So we'll give it a little time and then we'll be able to. Do I really want to move the ticketing again? I had to go through all that trouble. You know what? I kind of don't. Can I cancel that? There we go. I sure can. Um, and let's clear. Let's demolish. Demolish that. I would rather just move all this down this away and... Uh, um, leave the ticketing stuff the way it is because we, we would have to redo all the belts and everything. Oh, I was like, why is it only $6,000? And that's because we had already done a portion of it uh, elsewhere. Um, so we'll want to have this foundation go a little further over this way, I think. And maybe another that much more. There we go. Whoops. I guess then we're going to do this one this much more. Not really necessary, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. We'll find a use for it. I guess... It's so weird to try to fix this up properly. Like that. And then we need to do a foundation like that, right? I think this worked last time. And all of our money is gone. Uh, can we adjust prices? We sure can. We'll do that up to 100. We'll drop you down to three. We're at 63.57, 64.14. Oh my gosh, they love us for charging them. We have doubled our passenger uh, passenger income, which is the I would say by far the majority of our income. Um, so that's going to be just huge, huge. These poor, poor workmen, trapped inside a prison of their own creation, literally. Um, I don't know why I didn't build that fence and foundation thing correctly over here. That's really weird. Let's clear that out. I say let's clear that. Okay, or not. Can I clear? No? Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, that's why I couldn't do it, because I was clicking the wrong button. There we go. All right. Foundation. Any time now. There we are. Foundation. Boop, boop. No, boop. There we are. Sound effects. Drums. Podcast reference. Um, 
and uh, this looks like a good enough spot for a screenshot. I don't want to have it, say, decorative plant in the middle of the screenshot. Kind of a pain in the butt yesterday. I had to do some creative cropping to get that out of there. Uh, clear. We're going to clear that wall out, please, and thank you. Um, what size is this room here? Well, if I clicked on the correct keys, I could tell you. Uh, it is... Um, first start is to click on the correct things. Um, 16 by 5, huh? So let's go larger than that. Let's go 6 wide. Sounds good. 6 wide. But we don't need to go 22. Let's go 18 by 6, and I think that'll be enough. Well, let's add a few more on there. How we do that? And uh, we can actually make a tunnel go perfect. That's going to be perfect. So we go build. Wall. And we're going to end up fiddling around with the... Uh, fiddling around with the... Uh, underground belts anyway. Wow, jeez, look at all those passengers. It's crazy. So many passengers. Have we had any problems with flights today? Is it already that? No. No way it's the end of the day yet. Looks like all of our flights got out properly. That's real nice. And uh, we've got $300,000, even though we we were broke not too long ago. Hey, and look, that truck is, is uh, stuck there again. Let's, um, let's do another one. I don't know if it'll help, but maybe I can get a refund for all the missed flights. Um, break deadlock, please. Uh, the real uh, real story is the passenger bus that was deadlocked, though. Uh, now I was going to say, stuff didn't get too backed up, but it sure did. You just couldn't see it all at once. <laughs> And so that means probably a lot of people missed their uh, missed their flight because yeah they just got off their uh, just got off the bus and their flight had already left. Like this one supposed to leave ten minutes ago. So boy that caused problems that are going to cascade backwards all day long. This flight is sitting in its gate too long. That means that the next flight is not going to get here on time. Oh boy, that's a drag. The good news is, though, is we're going to have our expanded, whatever this is going to be. We're going to be able to expand our security areas. The real, uh, what we're really trying to do here is the whole point of all of this, to be honest. All right, we're going to clear that out. We're going to clear that out. So we're even going to clear that out. And then we're going to go foundation. We're going to foundationize those things. And uh, you should have cleared that little piece of fence out too, please. Thank you. <laughs> traffic jam. What are all these passengers hoping to do? Like, there's no more flights. This flight. Oh, oh, starts in 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. See, I love it. They're getting off the, the bus to only find out that their flight is already gone. Boy, we're going to have some unhappy passengers today. Thank goodness that has basically no effect on our ability to run planes. Um, all right, if we drop this $300 and we raise this up, why not? We're at 64%. <laughs> okay. So it's basically free to land and extremely expensive for every passenger to take a flight. Foundation. Gonna, I'll foundation you in a minute. There we go. This guy, these guys still stuck down in there for some reason. I guess this is still technically secure area, right? So I can I can clear this out. And what I will do here is I will put a wall segment in the middle. And then I will put security security exits there and 
there. How much time we got left? Five minutes, huh? Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this in the time that we have left, but we'll get pretty close. Clear that out. Clear that out. I guess I'm going to end up having to move the COO's office, which is not really going to be a problem, I don't think. Um, I can um, plan, clear, get rid of all that nonsense. I love how I didn't, I set up that, I mean, I guess it helped me figure out where to put that wall, but I didn't, I didn't restrict the baggage claim area this way wise like I intended to. That's okay, we'll be fine. Um, we're going to build objects, and then we're going to go carousel. Ah, why do I keep doing that? It's driving me crazy. Um, and we're going to put a uh, start over here. Put one there. And we'll put a second one there. Yes, that's right. That's just how sophisticated our airport is. It has two baggage carousels. Um, and then we will run this uh, conveyor line like that. And like that. Although we probably need to wait until the carousels get built because sometimes it gets a little funny when you try to do things like that. And let's keep an eye over here because I mean look at wow. So our our traffic is not keeping up with the modest number of flights that we have. Interesting because that wasn't really a problem until like just recently. I, I definitely should do the side road for our um, do the side road for our, our our deliveries because if nothing else when the trucks get stuck at least they won't be stuck in the middle of the main road and maybe that will help clear out our passenger backlog but this is like I haven't seen passenger backlogs like this since the first series and like uh, we had the same number of flights running through with no problems. Um, earlier in this same series. Like, I haven't increased the number of flights at all. So, I don't know why suddenly traffic is backing up. And, like, it stayed backed up all night. Was it because I was running it at high speed? And it's just like... Because it, it seems like... It seems like ever since I slowed the speed down, the traffic is flowing more smoothly. But that could be uh, observation bias as well. Let's um, Let's run those over there. And I think I can even put in the, the sliding door. So we were sort of able to finish this up this episode. Not completely, but, you know, completely enough. Oh, oh, that was a, an employee. That's fine if you want to walk backwards, Mr. Janitor, I guess. You guys don't have to follow the rules. I don't have any, like, janitor terrorists. Um, requires baggage claim zone. Yeah, I get it. I understand your thinking there. Game. Whoa! Holy moly, we have a lot of money all of a sudden. Probably because we're charging $150 per passenger for every plane that lands. $70,000 for our terminal usage for the 9699 and $23,000 for the other one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I love how I put it back onto top speed for some reason and, and then our traffic backed back up again. Let's try not running it at top speed and see if we can keep our traffic at a reasonable rate. Now, uh, did I get all the conveyor lines laid down? Looks like I did. So let's zone baggage claim area. We're going to have those going. And then um, can I just turn, you know, passengers don't care if their bags don't actually show up there, so I can go ahead and dismantle that. Now, we're going to run into the problem where people want to use the restroom. Um, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to deal with that. I think I might just move the restroom up to here and then like open up this whole or I might eliminate that restroom and put a restroom in up here that's probably the best idea 
and then put another restroom in down here or something. That that doesn't sound so bad. Let's uh, let's put in some decent flooring. These guys have got their funky funky floor over here. We'll just funkify all of this. There we go. Very funky. Oh yeah, waka waka. Uh, nope, traffic's still jammed up, even at slow speed. Hmm, no, no, see, proved me wrong. Thank you, game, for proving me wrong. It's like, uh, watch pot never boils, except, uh, in this case, a watched traffic never backs up. Oh, never mind. Again, I spoke too soon. Always speaking too soon. So, yeah, that traffic thing is not good. Uh, but I think that'll be pretty easily fixed, as a matter of fact. We've got so much money, I don't even have to wait. Let's set up that. Hey, quiet you. I don't have time to end this video. I'm busy playing. Oh, that's not the way that road's supposed to go. Cancel. This is how that road is supposed to go. Like this. And like that. And like that. And then down. And then down a bunch. I love I can I can just build this road with abandon, too. There's no concern because I've got so much cash. Um, we're going to go zone deliveries. We're going to move that over here and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. I would say like that is fine. And then we're going to unzone that. Although we kind of have to wait for them to deliver the road stuff, don't we? Um, but uh, unfortunately we can't keep playing forever. I mean, we could, but I'm not going to. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, thank you for watching today. Uh, just a reminder, I will be streaming RimWorld. Uh, that's going to be today, April 8th, at 2 p.m. Pacific Time, 5 Eastern, 9 GMT. So check that out on twitch.tv slash vanilla PC strategy. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, I hope you'll let me know down in the comments or click the like button anyway. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And I will see you here again real soon with the next episode. Bye!